All right, guys, here we are today. Uh, we're at Plus One Gym Concept. Uh, today's goal is to give you a quick how-to. Um, we're gonna walk you through creating a workout, and then we're gonna show you how Beast works through your workout. Today we're gonna do uh, bench press, deadlift, and explosive pull-ups. Um, so first thing first, we're gonna create a new workout for the day, um, showing you how to use the web portal here. Um, first thing, you log into your account, this is beast.com. You load it up, uh, then you click on the plan workout button, click new workout, um, and as that loads, we're gonna uh, put our lifts in, and we're gonna pick our loads for the day. Um, you can pick what type of training you want. Um, so we're gonna name it demo. Uh, it's planned for today. So the great part about this is it will go directly to the app on our phone so that we can just click and go. Um, beauty of uh, creating a new workout. You can add in some notes like, um, you know, guys like me, don't forget abs or cardio. Uh, any type of message you need to motivate or remind you of something, that's for you to describe however you want. Uh, like I said, we're going to do uh, bench press, deadlift, and explosive pull-ups. So we're going to start bench press with barbell. We're going to pick our load. Uh, you can either put in and preload the loads or don't know how you're feeling that day, you can leave it blank and change it when you're in the app. So either way, I'm going to just start warm-up set at 100, uh, probably do 10 to 15, so I'll put it at the top end of the range. Um, we're going to work today maybe for, we'll do some max strength effort um, and go from there. So here's also where you can, when you click the button for the new add exercise uh, as you want, you can do multiple sets of the same thing, or what you can do is do bench press and barbell. You could put total reps at 50, and you can do five sets at 10, and within the app between each rep and stop, you change the load again. Um, you can use either function, depending on uh, how you feel is the best way to build your workout. For me, I'm gonna do the next set. Uh, we're gonna go look for a deadlift here. Uh, we're going to start, we'll put 100 for the load. We're going to put, uh, we're going to do probably three sets, maybe three sets of 10, so we'll put 30. I'm actually going to go change my bench press to do three sets of 10 as well and do 30. For deadlift, we're going to work on velocity and do more VBT style for speed. Add another exercise here. And we're going to do pull-ups, explosive pull-ups today. Um, and really we're gonna, just going to do it for maintaining um, and keeping our level up. We're not sure how many I want to, how many I'm going to do today. I usually can do five to six good pull-ups a set and usually two or three sets on my own. Uh, here we'll leave the load blank because I'll probably just put in body weight. Um, we're going to shoot for three sets of six, so it'll be 18 reps. Um, and we're just going to do performance tracking today um, and just see where we're at with pull-ups. I haven't done them in a while, so it'll uh, be a good um, chance for me to see where I'm at with pull-ups. So that's basically our exercise for today. I want to take the time to show you that if there's for some reason an exercise that you don't have in that list, there's a function here you see exercise. As you click that, it'll bring up a new page um, and you can create the exercise. You can put in notes on maybe how to do it. Um, and you can put it in your language if you want, so it's a great way to customize your own exercises. Um, and we want to do that because we want you guys to, to have a part in, in building your own workouts that make sense for you. Not every lifter is different. We all have different exercises. So, at the end, what you want to do is you click Save Workout. So as that saves, it's going to save it to our phone. So when I pull up in the app, once this saves, um, you'll be able to see the workout. So it looks like it was sent. So there's a planned workout feature here. Let it load. And we see demo. So this is our workout for today. You click on it. And you can see our three lifts. Um, and then basically what we'll do is we'll hit start and go. So um, that's how easy it is to build a workout. Um, it's really great. Um, it takes away time at the gym. You don't have to think about what you want to do. You just click and go. So now uh, let's go hit our workout and uh, we'll show you 
how beast is used in each one um, throughout the day. So we'll take you guys along to the uh, weights. Right, so first we're going to show you, uh, we're going to start with bench. Uh, like I said, we save it to the web portal so we hit the plan workout button. And once we load up, we're going to find we pick demo. Uh, we're going to do our first bench set of bench. We're going to do four sets, but this first one's going to be our warm-up set. Uh, we've got 45 kilos on the bar just to get a nice workout. So, hit start exercise. And then, basically, we hit start. We get a nice timer going. Alright, so we have our first set, nice little warm up. Uh, obviously, we want to increase the load, uh, but we just wanted to get loose. Um, guys, make sure when you're working out, always get loose first. Don't try to go too heavy, too fast, and hurt yourself. So, we're going to put some more weight on the bar um, and get into our work sets here. So we have 100 kilos on the bar, so we're going to increase to our warp sets here. Uh, the idea is to do three sets at 100 kilos. Um, make sure that we're staying stable on power more than anything. Uh, we'll show you how it works. Uh, so let's get started with, uh, we're going to probably do a 6 to 10 rep range uh, to start for the day. like three to five reps, and I'll do a six, but we'll probably drop down and do a three to five here for the next set. As you can see, the power by power set, uh, power there was much stronger uh, as we were warming up. We weren't really focused on power, we were just focused on getting loose, let the body roll. Um, so now we have our baseline power. What we want to do is maintain that power or increase. Um, if we start to see that drastically drop, we need to decrease weight or stop to know that we've uh, got out the work we can today and we don't want to uh, burn out our central nervous system. So we're going to do three to five, two to three more work sets here. Um, I forgot the new feature we have with the sound, so I'm going to turn on the sound so you guys can hear. It gives us a countdown timer, it gives us a uh, rest timer, beeping at every 30 seconds. Um, and then each time a rep is tracked, it gives us a beat. So I turn the sounds on, make sure we've got those rolling. So we have countdown, rest time, rep marking on, and yep, volume's up. So let's get another good set in here, three to five. Explosive. Um, in that last three to five set, so we're still progressing up, which is good. Actually, based on our speed and power, we can increase the load a little bit. Um, if I wanted to stick to BBT, I would, but I think I'm going to stay at, at this and do a nice work set. So we're going to do a couple more sets. Um, this is our perch mount. It's a great handy tool. 
as you can see, it's great for uh, putting it on the bar. Really easy to attach to your phone. Snaps right in. Magnetic. It's great. It's going to have your pocket. It's not laying on the floor. Um, which is, for me, it's an eye, eye vision. I can just look over to my left. Uh, so we can see um, we had our baseline. We increased power a lot. Uh, that's good. Uh, the idea for this workout uh, is to stay at 100 kilos. Uh, we don't want to go any higher or lower. We want to do uh, a good work set, focusing on the power set by set. So um, if you look at other screens, it might give you different information. Uh, but we're focusing on power. So we're doing another work set, uh, looking at three to five good, um, good presses. consistent power output um, but overall from the last the last set to this set you can see that my power had gone down due to fatigue I feel good I can definitely do one more set but make sure you're paying attention to this data is you know lifting is emotional um, data is objective um, so even though I feel good um, you know follow the data because sometimes you feel great but that's when your emotional, your body is on, on fire, uh, that's when you can get hurt. So it's always important to know when to shut it down, listen to your body. Um, but like I said, lifting can be emotional, data is objective. Uh, so it's always important to, to balance uh, and feel what feels best for you, but also use the information to make smart decisions. And we'll, uh, we'll move over to the deadlift station. Um, deadlift, we're actually gonna focus more on BBT. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll meet you at the deadlift station. So we're actually going to be doing deadlifts using VVT methodology. So the idea with velocity-based training is that we're moving the bar more than one meter per second for every every repetition. So we have uh, 70 kilos on the, on the bar. We're going to start from here and see how fast we can get moving. set. Uh, it's telling us because of speed we want 1.03 meters per second. We're at 0.93. Uh, we had 70 kilos on the bar so what we're going to do is we're going to drop down, uh, put 20 kilos on so we're going to put 60 kilos on the bar uh, and try to get that speed above 1.03 and work on speed today. So we're going to switch some weights. Body weight, so my body weight is 115 kilos. 
um, and then we're just going to do three good reps and see uh, what our performance looks like. So you can see that three reps we had uh, 845 output. Um, we can see that we're somewhat consistent, got stronger through. Um, and you can see all the widgets. What we're going to do is we're going to do another set. Uh, we're going to wait 30 seconds, so we're doing a full rest cycle. Uh, we're just going to see how explosive it can be um, on a second set um, to try to get that baseline. So we're at the 30 second mark. So again, you can see second and third got stronger, uh, but my power went down, so we know that my explosiveness on pull-ups needs work. So we get a baseline, gives you a great um, great idea of what you need to do and how you can uh, improve and, and the type of things you need to do in the weight room to get more explosive. So, how are we doing? We'll probably do one or two more sets and call it good. So, as you can see, this is the web portal screen that we have um, after the workout. Uh, this will give you the history of all your workouts uh, from the past. You can see uh, here, um, we can actually look at the, the workout itself. We'll click on it. And show show the features you can see as it loads here. You can see every repetition uh, that comes out. Uh, trend lines you can see uh, overall volumes, and then you can see your uh, set by set and rep by rep uh, power output. So as you can see, we we're doing power bench press. You can see consistent power for four sets. Um, you can pour it down into your deadlift and see the sets and all the, the explosive push-ups as well. Or, sorry, the explosive pull-ups as well. So you can see how, how the web portal will feature um, and how you can look at uh, the workout. The other great web portal feature is you can also choose to see your progress over time. Uh, so for example, let's show you... <laughs> Squats over time, so we're going to do the last 30 days. So we're going to choose June here, and then to today for the day. Click the update chart. What this will do is it gives you a comparison so you can see trends over time. It's great to view. So you can see how my squat uh, stays somewhat consistent over time um, as we continue to grow through the training cycle. So uh, from set by set, you see all your data and you can actually look at the values and things of that nature. So it's a great function to uh, use the web portal to uh, compare data, see your history, as well as look at the data from your current workout. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the quick demo version of how to use Beast, um, seeing the software, seeing the uh, Beast in action. Um, we definitely want you guys to utilize and make the most of Beast. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Follow us on Facebook, Beast Technologies, LinkedIn, Beast Technologies. Hit us up on Twitter, at Beast Sensor, and Instagram, at Beast Sensor. Uh, if you guys want, to be featured, uh, send us your pictures, tag us, hashtag BeastSensor on Instagram. We'd love to see your videos using Beast. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a good training session.